Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do some more oracles for you all, okay? The safety spirit is free. Um, the oracle I'm reading is from the website is ourblackgoods.com. Okay, I'm here to break the codes when I see some, and I'm gonna see where we can't find their bodies. And um Where they located okay this is this this person we are really going to be about marie daily d-e-l-l-y 34 vanished after leaving job at walmart in 2010 i heard two things i heard she's still at walmart and i'm hearing taisha shepherd did it okay it what she look like she's like taisha mother probably why she said that so let's begin the person of interest connected to the missing person case involving Marie Daly is in prison, but she had yet to be located. Marie worked at Walmart in Napa, Florida back in 2010, a job that she held for five years. Her supervisor reportedly described her as a responsible and reliable person, and that was a sentiment held by many who knew the 35-year-old mother of four. This is another picture of her. The last time anyone saw Mary Marie Daly, a Haitian, a Haitian immigrant who had lived in the United States since 1984, was on May the 17, 2010, when she left her job after clocking out of work. Her husband, Manel De Reese, M A T H N A L D D A R E U S, will later tell authorities that he dropped Marie off at work at 8.30 that morning, but he did not know who picked her up. Walmart surveillance cameras reportedly captured Marie leaving the store, but it did not show outside, so it could not be determined who. If anyone came to get her, Marie reportedly did not have a driver's license. Her husband reported her missing two days later. That's probably why she said she's still at Walmart because they didn't see her leaving Walmart, but she clocked out, though. The marriage between Marie and De Reese was said to be a volatile one. It reported that she spoke of being physically abused by her husband and her family told authority that their arguments were frequent. Yeah, this is about Mob James and Nino Brown. The weekend before Marie went missing, she and Doris illegally got into one of their fights, but he reportedly denied the ass assumptions of violence. According to Marie's son, Lavana Warren, Darius abandoned Marie's children not long after she went missing. He just left. He moved to Orlando, and we never heard from him again, said Lavanda. Okay, this is her again. Now, a young man, Lavanda, was 14 years old when his mother, Lavanda, Lavanda, was 14 years old when his mother went missing. He went on to become a wrestling and football star at Golden Gates High School in Napis, and later he completed on he competed on the wrestling team at Florida A&M University in Tallahassee, where he majored in criminal justice. I also feel like he is deceased as well. Okay. Lavanda claimed that his mother shared an unmarked message with him before she disappeared. My mom told me, Lavanda, if I Lavandin, Lavandin, if I ever die, you'll know that Ken Ken killed me. He said years ago while losing Derry's nickname at the time, Lavandin also held out hope that his mother will one day return home alive, despite people telling him the odds were very few. It's been too long just wondering, you know, when the answer is going to come in. We need to know. This is the male that claimed to be her man. Look like Mom James or look like the Grim Sleeper or Nino Brown. One of them three. Although Mary Marie Daly had previously on two occasions reportedly left town without alerting Darius, her family insists that she was a dedicated mother who would never up and leave her children. Since she vanished, there has not been any movements on Marie's bank accounts. Darius remains a possible interest in this case. 
According to reports, Darius underwent a four question polygraph test and failed two of the questions. His account of his activities when his wife went missing was also said to have been contradictory. He told authorities that he dropped her off at work but later stated that she did not go into work that day. Surveillance footage shows a car similar to his in the Walmart parking lot on the afternoon his wife went missing, and later a highway toll booth captured his vehicle making his way to Miami. His phone records reportedly showed that he was in Miami for a short time. In October 2015, this case took a turn when Darius was arrested on murder charges. It was then that a man it was then that a man visited a Hyatt Regency in Orlando, shot and killed 49-year-old Cedarlin Forrestis in his car on the fifth floor of the hotel's parking lot, and drove off in a red vehicle after pointing a gun at and threatening Michael Bigani, a hotel employee. Police later found Darius sitting in a vehicle with a gun and blood on his hands. He also reportedly tested positive for gunshot residue. Come on, you gonna do life for murder, said Lavandin in 2017, adding that his family always suspected Darius was involved in his mother's disappearance. Now the time, if you know something, say something. We need to know. It could also be her. I'm hearing yes. Okay. That isn't any closure, Marie's sister, Bobby Lena, said years ago. She's missing and you can't really cope. At the time of her disappearance, Marie Daly stood 5 feet 9 inches tall to 5 feet 10 inches tall and weighed 210 to 220 pounds. She had black, dark brown hair and brown eyes. She had two tattoos, the name Tyrese on her right shoulder and the Mandadon, M-A-N-T-H-N-A-L-D, on her left shoulder. Marie was prescribed diabetes medication, but it is unclear if she had them with her. That's probably why they also killed her, because she was taking medicine. They don't like that. She was last seen wearing a dark blue polo shirt and khaki pants that you wear at Walmart. She may go by her middle name, Chantel, C-H-A-N-T-A-L. She would be 45 years old at the time of this publication. Publication. Anyone with information about this case is urged to contact the Collar County Sheriff's Office at 239-252-9300. Crime Stoppers at 1-800-780-TIPS-8477 for anonymity or their local authorities. The agency, the agency case is 13706-110. Please share this story about Marie Daly to help bring resolution to this case. She is our sister and her life matters, okay? Hope y'all enjoy. If y'all want to work on this case, just hit the numbers below. Hit me up, okay? I don't do it for the fame. I don't do it for the money. I do it because it's what I love to do. Like I said, people's souls and spirits free, okay? Enjoy, peace.